how to make word by word text animation inside DaVinci Resolve. I'm gonna show you two ways on how you can do it. First, you're in the edit page, you go to titles, effects library and add a text plus onto your timeline. Highlight your text, go to the inspector and then type the text and adjust the font, the color and the size. Right click and select follower. Then select this icon right here to access the fusion page. Once you're in the fusion page, select the modifier right here then access the transform panel from here, then select the drop down menu on transform and select word. Then go to your timeline and place your playhead further, I'm using frame number 8. Then I'm expanding the size from here and also creating a keyframe next to x and y values of size. Go back to your timeline and put your playhead in the beginning, frame number 0 and reduce the values of that same x, y values. When I play through you can see that it's popping out like this just zooming in and we want to add some delay so that they can pop up word by word. You want to go to timing and set the values on delay to about 1.5 and now it looks way better. You can also access the spline tab from here and then select your transform from here to enable all the keyframes. Select this icon so you can have a preview of both of your keyframes and then select here so you can highlight both of them. Then press S on your keyboard so you can smooth out these keyframes. Then you can go to tools right here, select settings, enable the motion blur and put the values of quality on about 6. That was the first style of making the word by word. I'm gonna reset the values and going back to modifiers, going back to transform and I'm resetting the values by double clicking on X and Y letters so I can delete all my keyframes. Now the text is not edited, I'm going to text, on the timeline going to frame number 8, creating a keyframe next to size and then going to frame number 0 and bringing size to a values of 0. When I play through you can see now it's going from the inside out in the center. And also you can add the spline tap curves and motion blur like the previous one. You can also watch this video right here, I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.